Hi friends, welcome, if it is the first time with you, subscribe to never miss an upload. In this video, I'm gonna show you, 4 common reasons why is the vaginal area dark. So, watch until the end of video, because many guys and men are not aware of these signs. Skin darkening and general hyperpigmentation are relatively common issues that can arise due to sun exposure and age. Most women won't bat an eye when they develop a tan or sun spots. But darkening in more sensitive areas that don't typically see the light of day often becomes a source of worry and low self-esteem. Having a dark vaginal area usually isn't a health concern. It's normal for women of all complexions to experience darkening around the vulva and other intimate areas. However, the extent of the darkening varies, and the color change can worsen over time. While this issue is normal, there are several potential reasons why women develop a dark vaginal area. Biologically, it's a form of hyperpigmentation. It's typically a byproduct of increased melanin production and accumulation in the area. Here are causes of dark vaginal area. Number 1. Friction. Friction can lead to skin darkening on any part of the body, but it's particularly common around the genital area. Increased friction often leads to hyperactivity in melanocytes, the cells that produce melanin pigment. When the melanocytes produce more pigment, it accumulates in the area and causes a darkening effect. Women can experience daily friction in many ways. Sometimes, it's due to ill-fitting underwear or tight clothing. In other cases, walking, running, and exercising can cause friction on the inner thighs and vulva. Even sexual activity can lead to increased friction that ultimately causes hyperpigmentation. Number 2. Shaving. Shaving can also be a source of a dark vaginal area. Using a razor on sensitive body parts often leads to irritation and an inflammatory response. When that occurs, you may experience post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's the same type of darkening that can occur after a pimple heals. Some women also experience irritation and inflammation as new growth comes in. There's also a risk that chemicals in shaving creams or lotions exacerbate the skin's response. Number 3. Aging. Finally, skin darkening is common with aging. Skin throughout your entire body changes the older you get. Its tone, texture, and elasticity will evolve. Those changes aren't limited to your face, arms, and décolletage. The same occurs with the skin in the vaginal area. Pair that with more repeated friction-based trauma and the hormonal changes that happen with menopause, and darkening becomes more common with age. Number 4. Hormones. Hormonal changes may be to blame for developing a dark vaginal area, too. While your entire body has pigment producing melanocytes, those around the vulva can be particularly sensitive to hormones. The same goes for other sensitive areas around the nipple and anus. Melanin production can kick into overdrive whenever your body experiences an increase in estrogen and progesterone. This change may occur during pregnancy or menopause. 
Many also experience skin changes when they're on birth control. Remember, reasons why your vagina burns after having sex. Burning or stinging in your pubic region, of any kind, can be alarming. Instantly, your mind may conjure up the worst scenarios when, in fact, the cause could be something relatively harmless. To put your mind at ease. Here we have provided seven reasons why you may feel a burning or stinging sensation in your vagina following sexual intercourse. And how it can be soothed or treated. Number 1. Urinary Tract Infection, UTI. Anyone who has had a urinary tract infection knows how painful and irritating it can feel, but adding sex to this equation can make things even worse. Urinary tract infections cause inflammation around the lower urinary tract, and penetration can trigger a burning feeling in this inflamed area. Urinary tract infections are easily treated with antibiotics, so you may prefer to wait until the infection has cleared up before you try to have sex again. Urinary tract infections are not considered to be contagious, so it is unlikely that you can pass one on to your partner through sex. Number 2. Rough Sex it can be easy to get carried away if you're enjoying it, but sex that is slightly rougher than normal, or that goes on for longer than it usually would, may leave you with a burning feeling. This is caused by friction inside the vagina, and should disappear within a few days. However, during this time, it is best to use a barrier method during sex as tiny tears in your vagina will make you more susceptible to infections. If you find that this happens often, try using more lubricant during sex to prevent further injury. Number 3. Vaginismus Vaginismus is a condition which causes the muscles in the vagina to contract, making penetration difficult, uncomfortable, and sometimes painful. Unfortunately, no one knows what causes vaginismus, however, Botox has been found to treat the condition effectively, allowing for comfortable penetration. Number 4. Vulvodynia Vulvodynia is a newly recognized condition that is identified by unexplained pain around the vaginal opening that lasts longer than three months. The pain can sometimes be described as a sharp, stabbing pain, while some say it feels more like burning. This sensation can make sex feel painful or uncomfortable. While there is currently no treatment for vulvodynia, you may apply topical ointments, take painkillers, or undergo physiotherapy to help relieve the pain. Number 5. Bacterial Vaginosis, BV. One of the key symptoms of bacterial vaginosis is fishy smelling discharge, especially after sex. However, it has also been known to cause soreness and burning after penetration. Sometimes, bacterial vaginosis can go away on its own, but if you don't want to wait, or if you want to make sure the condition is treated, you can obtain antibiotics. Bacterial vaginosis is a common condition for women, but many people are unaware that it can be contagious. Therefore, if you find that you keep on contracting bacterial vaginosis, it may be time for your partner to get diagnosed, too. Thank you for watching, 
subscribe and rise thumbs up if you like video.